Uh, Jean-Pierre de Cussard's spiritual classic, Abandonment to Divine Providence, says basically that we can very well follow the Christian life if all we do is have an active and passive loyalty. An active loyalty that follows the laws of the church and the duties according to our state in life, and a passive loyalty that accepts everything that comes its way in every given moment. And I wanted in this video to focus a little bit on the former, the first part, uh, so that we can better know the laws of the church and follow them more faithfully. Because today, um, a, there's a grave misconception. Um, so I want to go through canon law and why canon law, because if I want to know um, if I want to follow the laws of the church, well, I need to know what those laws are. So where do I find those laws? Well, canon law. Canon law gives you the interpretation of what the church, of what the, the uh, church's theology is meant for our active following of the faith. And it gives prescriptions for things. And it gives laws for things, things that we must follow, that we're required and obligated to follow, sometimes gravely. Now, the laws of penance are grave. This has been clarified. We know this. So we need to follow it. Therefore, we need to know about them. And I think that once you read what the laws are, you'll find that there is a, a grave amount of misconception in uh, Catholic circles about what those uh, days of penance are, what the exceptions are, and what the exceptions are not. The one thing I really want to point out in this video is that Sundays during Lent are not an exception in canon law. And this was pointed out to me by a canon lawyer. Um, so let's read it. Canon 1249 says, I think this will be interesting to anybody who's interested in, in what, the, what the church actually says about what we're supposed to do as Catholics. Canon 1249 starts the days of penance. All Christ's face faithful are obliged by divine law, each in his or her own way, to do penance. So that's the first thing. We're all required to do penance. And then it points out, well, what does that penance have to look like in a universal way so that we can be united in our penances together as faithful sons of the church? Well, let's see. However, so that all may be joined together in a certain common practice of penance. Days of penance are prescribed. On these days, Christ's faithful are in a special manner to devote themselves to prayer, to engage in works of piety and charity, and to deny themselves by fulfilling their obligations more faithfully, and especially by observing the fast and abstinence which the following canons prescribe. So, here we go. Canon 1250 continues. The days and times of penance for the universal church, so this is what we're all supposed to do together, are each Friday of the whole year, that's 52 days out of the year, every single Friday, and the whole and the season of Lent. There's a note, a um, little gloss here on that, and this is what my canon lawyer friend pointed out to me. This canon lists the days and times of a special penitential nature in which the whole church, and it points out, all the days of Lent and each Friday during the year. So, what does that mean? That means that Sunday is not an exception to the days of penance during Lent. There are exceptions given, and those exceptions are given in the next canon. Canon 1251 points out very clearly that on, on Fridays, we're not allowed to eat meat unless a solemnity falls on that Friday. But what the canon, the exception does not give is an exception for Sunday as a day of penance. So if, um, if you're going to change something in your Sunday about how you give penance, that's, uh, I, I suppose that's allowed um, because it doesn't really point out what your penance is. But Sunday is still a day of penance, so it's not a day necessarily to kind of yuck it up and treat it like it's 100% Easter yet. So anyway, I wanted to point that out because it's a grave misconception. We are required to do it still 
uh, we are required to do penances. And so I just wanted to make sure that that was clear so that we can have an, a plan of action so that we can treat Sundays during Lent not as a day off of Lent entirely, um, but maybe still a day of, of penance. Um, there are no exceptions given for Sundays in Lent, and so just um, as faithful sons of the church, when we see something that shapes a Catholic identity, instead of um, pushing back, which an unfaithful person would do, what, what we ought to do is uh, look up the facts and give our amen to it. Uh, you know, sometimes, and, and here's something, you know, something about Catholic identity. The Catholic identity is something that, um, you know, for instance, Catholic schools give a lot of lip service to. And uh, the way that we know that we're, that, the, that it's more than lip service is if we're actually following it whenever we find something that's true about a Catholic identity. Um, so, you know, I come across this new information. I've, I may have been told my whole life that Sundays is, is a day off of Lent during Lent. But then I, I find, you know, uh, canon law says something otherwise. Well, what do I follow? Do I follow what I've been told my whole life? Or do I follow what I actually see in front of me? This is, I just read to you canon law. It's very straightforward, very clear. You know, I should say amen to that. Maybe some, maybe there's some clarification that says, no, 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 there is, there is an exception given to Sundays during Lent. Here it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just show me, show it. And that would be enough. No problem. You know, uh, point made and, uh, you know, uh, I would stand corrected, but I haven't seen it. And um, canon law is very clear. So what do we do as faithful sons of the church? We just, we just follow that Catholic identity. We embrace it. We love it. We should love it. We should love it. Love the church. That's what loving the church is, you know, really all about. So I hope this helps. And if it is, hey, you know, like it, share it, you know. Maybe it'll be helpful for someone else. Anyway, stay hungry, my friends.